And as part of our AM Fights Cancer Week, we caught up with Ronan Keating and his wife Storm as they reminisced about the past 20 years since setting up the Marie Keating Foundation and how Ronan's mum Marie would have been so proud of his family for all the help they provided to families across the country. Ronan and Storm, oh, lovely yeah. to talk to you. You too, Paul. Um, Ronan, 20 years of the Marie Keating Foundation and your man passing. It yeah. must be an emotional night for you. It is, I mean, the, the golf event was the very first thing we did. Um, man passed away in February. And we, you know, we, we came up with all sorts of ideas um, when we were knocking around the house afterwards. You know, you're very angry, you're very upset, you know, all the different emotions that are going on. And the one thing that we thought, oh, we could do and maybe work on was the K, was, you know, golf at the K Club, an event. So we did it and my brother Gary, um, started working on it. It was a small event for the first one and it's just grown and grown and grown and it was a huge event uh, today. It's just been phenomenal, 20 years later. Uh, people mightn't realise the story with your mum is that yeah. like her death could have been avoided. Yeah, mum died that, from one of the most curable forms of breast cancer, yeah. which is it's horrible for us to think of that. Mm. Um, you know, and, and she came from a generation that were scared to go to the the doctor and get checked. And she uh, was scared. She was yeah. afraid of hospitals. She yeah, was scared she, of doctors. That's she it, scared of doctors, yeah. It didn't want, it'll be grand. That, that As we was, all that say in mommies, Ireland, that's what all the mammies were like, you know, it'll be grand. It'll be grand. Have a cup of tea, it'll be grand. Yeah, yeah. but sadly not this time. And, and um, it just went on too long. And, and because of that, uh, it got her in the end. And, and that's it's heartbreaking for us. So I guess we set up the foundation in the hope that other people wouldn't go through what we went through. Uh, we were naive, we were uneducated, um, and we wanted to try and change that across the country. Because, I mean, I've lost a brother and a sister to cancer, but I don't think I could go out then and sort of go, I'm going to try and change yeah. Ireland and I'm going to try and change things. That, that, that takes a lot of courage and a lot of um, drive from the family, the Keating family, to go and do that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, look, I'm only one piece of this puzzle. I mean, it's my brothers and sister that really drove it as well. You know, there was a gang of us in it and then our friends that wanted to support and get behind it. Uh, and, and before we knew it, there was so many people involved in it because they all had a, a similar story. Everybody wanted to kind of get involved and get behind it and do their bit. So whether, whether we were walking across the country or golf events, or there was always somebody that had something to give you, an offer to help, which was phenomenal. And because of that, it just spiralled and got bigger and bigger and bigger. And, and Storm, you didn't know Marie, obviously, but the stories, the photographs, I'm sure, because uh, they're such a close family, you, you must feel like, like you, you do know her. I feel like I know Marie, but I, I feel like even right from the very first day that you know we sort of got to know each other and it's something that he wears with him every single day of his life. And I feel like she was with us from the start. Like I, I truly, and I, that, that might sound you know a bit crazy to some people, but you know, big decision for us to sort of take the leap of faith that we did to even be together. And we knew it was love, but we're from other sides of the world. Mm. And even our wedding day, it was like the sunniest day in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> Who gets sun in Scotland? <laughs> she was looking down. She, she was, was looking yeah, down. And was. Um, but yeah, from every, I, I, it's probably the greatest regret I'll ever have in my life is not meeting Marie. And you've been a huge supporter of the charity, obviously, and yeah. their units and the Comfort Fund, which I think a lot of people don't realise about. Yeah, the Comfort Fund I am particularly passionate about because it gives finances to people at a time where they really need them. Because mm. having cancer or having a family member who has cancer is, is heartbreaking in itself and it's one thing to have to deal with. but. All of a sudden, you have all these doctor's bills and you've got travel expenses and, you know, people need to stay in hotels and there's obviously a salary in the family often, if obviously it's not a child, but if it's one of the breadwinners, the, the, the family aren't bringing as much income in. And yeah. what the Comfort Fund does is it gives a little bit of um, support, support mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, but it's, it's just a little something to take the edge off an already difficult time. Are you, are you very proud that the fact that she did see Boyzone yeah, hitting, oh, very like, much. hitting the heights. So very we, much yeah. so. We were watching something the other day, actually, the boys and I, and it was showing old footage of the Late Late Show, I think it was, and all the mammies went and sat in the front row of yeah. the Late Late Show. Yeah. And this was a big deal for the mammies, you know. Yeah. Of course it Gabo is. Gabo was yeah. still on there. Yeah. And it, was, it was a big deal. And I was just like, it was so, that that filled me with pride when I thought, oh man, that's cool. That's, yeah. that's really cool. My mum got to go on the Late Show. <laughs> yeah. and, and now it's 25 years later. Yeah. 
it's here we coming are. back again. I know. The I new know. album and the tour. Yeah, the I'm last album. I'm actually excited to really? go and see the tour. I hope you're coming down. I got to the tour. I'm definitely going to come and see we're, it. We're getting to They're adding more shows on. They've already yeah. added seven new shows to the tour. Which yeah, is mad. it's amazing. We didn't expect it, you know, the tour to sell like it did, and, and you know, people are really vibing about the album. It's our last record. It's time for us to. Yeah, because you've sort of said, look, yeah. we're going to have one last hurrah, and let's do it in style. Let's you do know? it in style. Yeah. It's, a, it's a way to do it, though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, you know, look, I'm the youngest, and I'm 41, so. <laughs> You know, we're all ages now in the band. It's time to hang up our dancing shoes. I'm sure the others you are going to be telling you thanks for that. Thanks, right? for, that. thanks yeah. for that. Yeah. Everyone knows I'm the baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then Cooper gets to see Daddy on stage. Exactly. Aww. You know, all the kids will be there. I mean, the I just said they, they want Cooper to get up in a harness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the kids are like, you have to get a harness and fly, Cooper. I mean, and the foundation just keeps seeing to get better and grow more and get more involved. Uh, and we were just even saying, about how the mobile units get to every corner of the country, and that's so important. Yeah, it's really important to places where the, the, you know there aren't, uh, you know, it's not as accessible for clinics and hospitals and so mm. on. The units are are available to people free of charge, and they can go on board and speak to a nurse and and kind of figure out exactly what to look for and how yeah. to look yeah. for it. Because that's the other thing. Education really, is everything. Education is key. So yeah, that's what the units do best. Um, the foundation has been, you know, going strong now for 20 years, but there has been times when it's been tough. As, you know, when the country s struggled financially, uh, people couldn't donate and couldn't give money, and we understood that. So there were certain things we had to cut back on, but now, you know, we're back in a strong position again, and, you know, the, we're getting the word out there bigger and better than ever. Sadly, the disease seems to be mo around us more than yeah. it ever has been I think before. everybody in the country knows somebody who's affected uh, by yeah. cancer. Oh. You know, and, it, and, and that's sad. So th it's going the wrong way but statistically, more lives are being saved because mm. of it. And what I love as well, Ronan, is that you're, it's not just women, it's men, and you, yeah. you went the, the testicular cancer route and, yeah. and just checking yourself there and doing that and just opening it out. Well, it, you know, it was kind of, not odd at the beginning, but because I was kind of the face of the charity and I was talking about breast cancer, it was a little bit, you know, maybe it was good, maybe it was disarming, I don't know, but it was great for me to then be able to go, right lads, yeah. you know, testicular cancer, this, prostate yeah. cancer, mm -hmm. we've got to cop on, we've got to, you know, deal with this up front like women have with breast cancer. So, you know, that was kind of, you know, with the, with the Men Keep It Fit campaigns and so on, that really, um, yeah, I could push that a lot. Well, do you know what? Um, all we can say is that Ireland Day, I'm delighted to get on board Thank with you, you all this week. And it's amazing what you're doing. Yeah. Thank you so and much. I know um, all our viewers are going to love uh, sort of hearing the stories from all the people who are affected, survived, Yes, and that's important to that's know that the survival rate. And uh, we're very proud to be part thank of the you. week. Thank you. You've been through yours, and, yeah. and you're, uh, thank you so much yeah. for the support. You know firsthand oh, we do. how tough yeah. it is, and yeah. thank you very much. It's so important to get the word out there like this. So yeah. thank you, Al. Thank you, and thank Thanks. you both. Thank, thank you. you. God bless. Thanks. Well, there you saying, and they do, they do amazing work. They really do. And the mobile units, I think, are really important for people to know that they are going to go around the country. They can go into every village, every little town, get the information, get the awareness out there. And I think that's what Ronan was saying to me and Stormless, the awareness of the Marie Keating Foundation. People know that they, well, they I, did this thing for their mother, but uh, didn't what, really what know do. what they do. I'd never heard of the Comfort they, Fund. Yeah. No, 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 it's such a good idea. And we'd only put that out to air, and a woman texted in from Monaghan or Cavan. Castle Castle Blaney mm -hmm. kind of behind it, to say basically they do the same. They have a limited fund that they they volunteer to collect for and they subscribe it and they give it out to people who need it or to, you know, petrol money, whatever you need Hospital. to get you through it, help you get through it. And, it's, it, and these guys, they Spences. do amazing yeah. work below yeah. the radar. And, and, and you know what's lovely too is <coughs> picking up a leaflets or maybe going online, it's not practical for everybody and people are left with questions. Yeah, but Whereas to go when you in. have the units and yeah. there's and it's in your village there, and, and it's, it's in there. your village yeah. and the nurses are really well experienced and know what they're talking about. They can really just give you no good substitute for human advice. contact, really. Is no, it? I don't no. think so. I don't think so. Well, have they a website? Have they? Yeah. Thank you. Well, yesterday we raised over three thousand. We're hoping to get to twenty by the end of the week. So we're looking for you to donate this morning to donate four euro. All you have to do is text Marie to five zero three hundred five zero three hundred. If you have your phone in your hand <clears throat> now, if you have it in your home. Just text that number, pick up your phone and text Marie to 550 300 and that donates €4. Euro. And as I said, we're hoping to get to €20,000 by the end of the week to keep this really good work and this awareness of the Marie Keating Foundation going around the country. Nice. Well done. Two cups of coffee. Two, yeah. Four yeah, euro. yeah. Four yeah. Euro. And text as many times as you like. <laughs>